Today I stand before you to ask you to uh, adopt my amendment. This was a bill that was in communications and technology, and it has to do with the flying of drones. Uh, the three largest sheriffs... Members, please. We do have a speaker. Thank you very much. Chair recognizes Representative Cherkin. Thank you again, Mr. Speaker. Um, I come before you today. I have talked to the three sheriffs in the three major counties, the largest counties in the state of Michigan. That's Wayne County, Sheriff Benny Napoleon, Oakland County, Sheriff Mike Bouchard, and Macomb County, Sheriff Tony Wickersham. And they all agree with me, and they've had some input into this. During the committee, I offered up an amendment, and it was a 7-7 tie, so that naturally it, it was defeated. But I took what Chairman Jacobson had said in his statement, and I expanded on it in my amendment. And the difference is, is that it's a building uh, or municipal police department or a court building or a state police post or state police headquarters. That, that is what I added into it. And then it defines what a correctional facility and what a jail is. Uh, the reason I, I stand before you today is Oakland County did have an incident a couple of weeks ago where people were flying a jail close to their, uh, flying a drone close to their jail. And when they discovered it on the TV cameras, they went out to try to uh, get the people that were doing it. And they got in their car and took off and the drone uh, crashed on the ground and they picked up the pieces and they have an ongoing investigation right now. But it's paramount that th that stuff happened two weeks ago. That's what I want the urgency of this amendment to do. I would like to see it done as quick as possible so there's a safety factor between correction facilities, jails, court buildings, and state police posts. And if a drone, well, let me back up, if, if UPS, um, Google, Amazon, if they can deliver packages to a door now, you sure as believe they can either deliver a gun or two sticks of dynamite with a blasting cap in a jail or look and film how a prison is ran to see if there's escape routes for their people, not to mention the terrorist factor. Today, we get a chance to put a little bit of faith back in our men in brown and blue, and I urge a, a support on this amendment. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Cherkin. Question before the House, adoption of the amendment. The clerk will open the board. The amendment is not adopted.